everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Ronin! I believe in this episode we have a murder to uh, initiate, go through with, I don't really know what to say there, but we're gonna murder someone! So, we're gonna murder Mr. like sassy, angry, smarty pants there. Only one left! Is this the end? Will I be free after that? Or will I be lost? It's too late. Nothing can stop me now. Why is he the only one left? There's one, two, three, four, five other people in that photo who we haven't killed. One of them being a little girl, so I would hope he wouldn't kill that little girl. Uh, oh, shoot! I'm an idiot. I think I just figured this out. I think we're the little girl... And that man is our father, the only one who looks remotely happy in the photo. It must be our father. And he died because this group betrayed him and killed him, presumably. Um, and so we're avenging our father. That's what I'm guessing happened. I don't know. I don't know. I'm surprised. <laughs> I didn't think of that until now, if that is the thing. There are three other people then, based on that assumption, there would be three other people ignoring uh, the man who we're about to kill now, so I'll be interested if this is the ending of the game, because feels like we, we would have a couple of dudes left, but maybe all the other people died due to some other means or something like that. Let's go ahead and jump into action and see what's going on here. I gotta say, this is like the dumbest photo ever, it's got the weirdest collection. Oh my god, we don't even have the motorcycle. Kill the boss! Is this the end of the game? Oh, look, look at how cocky this guy looks. <laughs> Just smoking his cigarette. There's our bike. Okay, so changing it up. Apparently we're going from left to... Or, wait, right to left on this one. Not left to right. That's what every other one was. So. Um... Yes, I, I have no idea how we're gonna handle this mission. There's a lot, there's a, it's a very, very long one, so let's just see if there's any alternate routes we could take at the beginning. Doesn't really appear so, so, so I won't scan this map. Um, I'll probably scan it more as I go along, but for the beginning, let's just go ahead and take it room by room, I suppose. I think that's probably the best way to handle this. So this is super crazy i can't believe we're to the end of this game already i mean i was saying we, we i i mentioned previously we've gotten all the upgrades already so it it would make sense that there wouldn't be all that much left i don't know why the game just lagged there but i i i really was not expecting this to be the very very final mission and the the only objective for us is to kill the boss so we can go pacifist if we want Main objective, kill the boss. Do we want to try going... Playing like a passive route here? My only objective to that is I don't know how easy that's going to be. Easy or hard. I mean, we've killed so many dudes along our journey. It probably would make some sense to try to spare at least some of them. Uh, seeing as these guys probably have families to go home to and all that jazz. Don't really know what's the best route to take, though, because as we can see here, we do have two different routes right off the bat. So let, let, let's go ahead and meander over there, and then we'll decide. Jump out this window. Uh, let's grab this wall. Hopefully we won't get blown up. We died. Oh, wait, what? Uh, how do I save myself? I don't want to die in this many seconds. Okay. I've never seen that before. That's weird. Huh. Is there a way to prevent yourself from dying if that event triggers? I don't really know what happened there, but I don't think it really matters. So, we've got two paths. We've got this one. Deal with three dudes right there, just a long hallway. Should be pretty easy, I think, especially since we should be able to succeed in killing that man right off the bat. So technically, we'd only have two in a hallway. And then we've got four down this way. Will anyone get alerted? Oh, that guy might be able to see what's going on, but we could probably handle this room without him noticing. If we take the alternate route, we just have four in here for starters and then we come down this way and we have all these guys 
But we have to start on the right side, killing that dude. I, I think the left route is the better choice, because it's going to be a pain in the buttocks getting through this room right here if we have to start on the right. Because then we have to kill this dude. He's not very close to the glass, so it's actually... It, it might be a little bit tricky to kill him before people start trying to shoot at us. And then I've got to jump through that little gap in the middle, avoiding the mines to even get over to those guys. It looks like a big hassle. Even if I attack this side first, and this dude with the machine gun down there does indeed notice me, then I could still jump down there and fight these three and probably teleport over to that guy afterwards. Or e even if I don't have the teleport ability to get to that guy, with uh, these three dead, it's gonna be pretty easy to jump through that gap to get over to him. So I think we should take the left route. So then, best way to handle that, probably just go ahead and get started right off the bat with a little bit of... Oh, we failed. With a little bit of this all action right here, you are dead, my good sir. We could teleport. Is there a point? Oh, well, of course there's a point to teleporting. There always is. So let's jump into him. Knocked him out of the glass and killed him. The poor fool. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I just got shot in the face. I'm a moron. What is with this death and... Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Oh my god. So we've got some kind of rampage thing going on with our character here. So we could actually continue on fighting and even die. That's interesting. L let's get shot, though. Um, because... Uh, spoilers alert. I saw in the... I accidentally saw in the achievements that there is a good and a bad ending for this game. Because one achievement was like, get the good ending in the game, and the other one was like, get the bad ending. So clearly, um... Oh, no. Clearly, the different endings are based on your ability to survive this mission. At least that's what I would presume. So, we're gonna do the, our our best to not die, so that means we can't get shot at all. Maybe I'll replay this mission once afterwards then and, and see how this level would end, or like if we get a special cutscene or something like that, um, by uh, uh, g getting shot and dying at the end of this mission. So then... We can swing it down here, destroy him. Uh, apparently these guys don't know I'm here, which is perfect for me. Uh, because then I could just jump into that guy. Sucks that this man way over here noticed me, but I actually think I'd love to jump into him next. Uh, do we have enough time to kill this dude? Oh, we don't. I was a little bit worried about that. He's shooting? I thought he would need to take one turn to aim first. Oh, well, that's wrong about that, unfortunately. Also, Cyclops Man is... Oh, I want to knock him into a mine. Cyclops Man is actually shooting at us. That guy usually doesn't shoot at us, so that's interesting. What if we do... Jump up here, then. Ah, but Machine Gun Guy's gonna cause us problems. This is a bit annoying. What if I jump down here now, then? Okay. Then let's go up here. Oh, thank God I wasn't hit. Then let's jump right there. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to knock this guy out of the window um, the way that I want him to go, which is not really working out, unfortunately. Uh, can I jump into him? Okay, I think this should do it. Oh God, I didn't want that to take an action, but we killed this man. But now, okay, please jump through the bullets. No! Okay, uh, ju just kill me. I want to jump into this mine. Oh my god, so we could survive like any and all death, apparently. Man, our character has a serious vengeance! She she is indestructible, so it's gonna be- I think it's gonna be pretty easy to get that bad ending when, um, we're ready for that. I just need to actually make it through this, and apparently we're not getting checkpoints either, which is very, very unfortunate. Um, that really, really sucks, so I'm just gonna have to be extra careful with my decision making. Yeah, because I got down to that second floor, so we should've, uh, that should've been it. That sucks. 
All right, well, I think it's sword throw time. I totally sword throw, threw my sword into the wrong guy. I'm an idiot, but that's okay. Um, let's jump up here then. Call back our sword. I cannot believe I threw my sword into the wrong person. Uh, let's teleport into him, knock him out like we do. Because, you know, that's what cool people do or something like that. You shall be eliminated shortly. Dospedanya! Oh, thank God. Uh, those guys are going to alert friends. The alarm can be triggered, though, without causing us any problems. I still don't think we want to allow that, though. So let's kill these guys, unfortunately. You guys are gonna trigger the alarm, right? Huh. Well then, uh, thank you for not, thank you for having the shortest memory in the world. <laughs> like, hey, what, what, what was that guy dying over there? Huh. Must have been the wind. It's none of our problems, just the wind. Crazy wind always causing us issues. I don't know why a button did not choose to work there. A little bit frustrating, to be completely honest. But that's okay. I'm still free. You can't take Jafar from me because I love him. Amazingly, we were able to kill that dude. That's freaking awesome. Oh, please knock both of these jabronis over. It did. That's really good. Let's teleport to this man now. Knock him outside off a cliff. Then this dude is dead. We've done good. We've done good, at least if I do say so myself. So why don't we just teleport over to him? That'll knock him out of the cliff, which is actually a little bit annoying because now we have to jump down and kill him, but ah, it doesn't really matter, all, everything considered. This room is super dark. We could stealth kill these dudes, potentially. We have to break through glass to get in there. So we might not have a chance, but we could try. Ah, I was afraid he'd notice me. What if I do this then? Leave. And then, oh, I don't want to jump out when there's two of them there. Oh, don't you dare spy on me. <laughs> it's like, oh, is someone out there? Oh, no, I better go on my way. Okay. We leap for justice. Oh! Oh! Never mind then. Oh, oh! I didn't see that guy shooting at me! Oh my god, I was wondering why they were continuing, why the pause button kept coming up. I had no freaking idea. Does that mean I have to start over because I'm an idiot? Oh! Oh, that is painful. I was in the dark, so I didn't think they saw me over there. I didn't get a checkpoint! Oh, this level is so bad, but also good because it makes sense for them to make it so hard at the end. Like my donkey dong. Okay, well, this is a dumb start to this, but that's okay. Oh God, this is a really dumb start. Okay, so then we jump up here. We swing him like that! We die? Amazing, just kill me. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit tired of this mission. Not gonna lie. Uh, just because it's kind of tedious if you want to get the good ending, I wish there was a way to just kill yourself really fast. Because one mistake brings you back so far. Cool concept? Bad in practice. They really should have put checkpoints for this mission. I'm just gonna go out and say that. Okay, so jump like that. Let's go give ourselves a little bit more distance. Now this man should die. There we go. Okay, cool. Because it's just so unforgiving if you make one single mistake. So we could jump right there. Then they both shoot me though. Let's create a decoy. We haven't done enough decoy action, I think. Uh, unfortunate. No, we could jump like that. Okay, cool. It actually did work out. I was gonna say, uh, not really go work out for us here, but it actually turned out pretty okay. And we could sword throw. You guys know I do love me a sword throw, so let's jump up like that. Sword throw him. That'll knock over this man, and then we can pound him to death. Cool. 
grab you. Could have teleported it to, uh, teleported to it as well, but no real need to do that. I don't want to die. I was a little bit afraid. I was too close to the explosive there. This should be fine. Good. Okay. Good start. Good start. Good start, mate. We could jump into him. Ooh, that guy hasn't even seen us yet. Still probably best to teleport into him. We could at least knock him outside the window that way, which is the safe thing to do. Only problem is now Machine Gun Man is shooting at us, so I think we need to use a decoy just to buy us time. Yeah, okay, so that gave us sa safety. Only problem is now we don't, we're not safe at all. Unless we jump here, I think. Yeah, yeah, we'll be safe. Because we get there, knock him down before they're able to shoot. Now we could kill this dude. That guy was aiming up like a foolish fool. This man is not dead, but close. Let's decoy. I really think I need to use decoys as much as I can in this mission right now. Although this kind of put me in a horrible spot. I, this is where the, the shimmy that I talked about before would be really nice. I'd love to just use this action to move like two or three spaces to the right. But I cannot do that. Instead, I just have to give up my action, which is very, very frustrating. Oh my god. Okay, guys, can you please stop shooting that thing? Thank you. Knock him over. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is so annoying. Okay, we jump like that. Oh, that guy's reloading now. So actually, I should go back to this man, funny enough. Kill him. And now work my way back to this jerkwad. Hello, jerkwad! Prepare to die! Thank you. You have been eliminated. So. We're currently on pause. I could sword throw. I think I should do that. I apparently could not sword throw, but that's okay. Um. So let's just avoid dudes as much as we can. I'm gonna say jump like that. Do this. Uh didn't really work out the way I wanted to. But now it did. There's apparently a guy over there that's a little bit annoying and scary, but okay. Uh, this man is dead. Probably best to go over there. Really wish that man down there didn't exist, but that's okay. Uh, then we can kill you. I thank God we were able to stab him because that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Uh, maybe I should just book it? Let's book it. No! Are you fucking kidding me, controls? Oh my God! Okay. Okay. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Oh. I fucking hate the controls in this game sometime, sometimes. It's not the game's fault, it's the fault that I use a 360 control controller and, and when I take my hand off of the joystick, it often moves the cursor slightly. So I, like, if I'm aiming here, when I let go, I'm not gonna jump, oftentimes I won't jump directly in the middle of the elevator. Yes, like it moved, I, it landed me pretty much where I wanted to go that time, but th there's been a lot of cases in this game where I've accidentally jumped somewhere that I didn't mean to, because when I let go of the cursor, it tends to accidentally move it sl slightly, and that time it killed me, which in this case, because they decided not to put checkpoints in this level, it really, really screwed me over. Oh God. Uh, and it screwed me over right there as well. But actually, it didn't really. Our sword, why did you hit him? Why did you hit him? Whatever. Um, it would have been a lot better if it went into the other guy, but that's okay. It actually turned out pretty fine and dandy. We got our sword back. We don't even have to mess with that guy, so let's just get on out of here. Grab on. Wait, why is that guy alerted? How the hell did he see us there? Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm starting to realize that I think I could just bypass a lot of this, but it also probably is safer for me to kill dudes. I'm not sure. So let's kill guys when we can, like there. 
Uh, jump into you, that knocks over both of them. Then we can Y him, that knocks him off a cliff. Jump right down there. Keep on falling! Then we can do this. What's the best way to handle this? Let's do it like that. Swing in. Oh my god. Okay, that did not swing it all the way I wanted it to, but we survived, and that's really all that matters. Now we're pretty much dead, though. Hmm. Yeah. Probably is a much better choice to take things slow. Because now there's all those machine gun shots going through, and I don't think I could survive. Unless I could press A? No, it does not let me press A. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Just let this man shoot us a million and one times. I really apologize for this, guys. Personally, I don't think it's my fault. I've made a lot of moves. I think this level is poorly designed. I, I don't think there's any reason why they shouldn't put checkpoints in it. it, it really, it, it just... It, it's kind of... It, it, it's... It, it's kind of just falsely increasing difficulty, I feel at least, a a a adding, I mean, removing the checkpoints just for this level alone. And I'm finding it a little bit frustrating to, as you guys can obviously tell. Let's get our sword back. We will finish off this. Can I, oh my God. I really hate that you can't move when you press play, but you know, that's, that's fine perfectly fine so let's grab onto that murder this foolish mortal murder him I did not murder him said uh said the robot uh then we'll meander over to this jabroni oh I probably should have killed that guy I didn't think I'd have a chance, and I obviously messed up because of that. Whatever, um, this'll work out fine in the end, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, now we have a chance to kill either one of those guys. I feel like that slash should have killed them both, but, that, but that's okay, I don't really care. Let's uh, make sure that we can finish off him. Because the other guy was still getting up, thanks to our wonderful li little limit break that we got there. Knock you into a bomb, which apparently did not work, but that's okay as well. And then I'm going to try to maintain our actions as much as possible, because I would actually... I think we need to kill these guys in this room, just... Oh, shoot. I could teleport over there. I don't think that's the best choice, though. So let's... Sword throw you... Make it so you're not a problem, for me, at least. Jump, pause, get our sword back. This is really cool, I actually did not- Oh my god, you're kidding me. <laughs> I did not know that this game could work this way though. That I, I just learned a new mechanic in this level, that if I actually press pause, um, let's jump right there. Okay, good, that didn't kill me. If I- Oh my god! I pressed pause. It didn't work. Classic Ronin right now. I am so mad. <laughs> this is a very uh, rage-inducing episode, and I apologize for that as always. Oh my god! Frickin' registered the jump instead. Just kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. I mean, it didn't register the jump instead. Registered me getting lifted up. Like, jumping up on my rope as opposed to killing the man. When obviously killing the man would have been the optimal choice there. Let's fly a little bit farther. Oh man, I'm messing up my jumps all over the place. Oh, come on! Like that. Okay, thank you. Jump over here! I did not want that to be a two-turn jump. Of course, now we kill that man first. Whatever. Um, B to teleport to him, knock him off a cliff, get our sword back, and then let's finish off this man. Cool. 
we've pretty much got these uh, first moves down to a, uh, a science or something like that. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that, at least. Let's try to do this as quickly as we can. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam! Thank you. Uh, we cannot sword throw yet, so let's just knock him down. Eliminate him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So we definitely do have those first early moves down to pretty much exactly how we want to handle them each and every time. Um, and as, as long as they continue to work out the way I want them to, I will be very, very pleased. Limit break is ours. Let's get this man first since he is the one standing or beginning to stand up, I suppose. And then you are my prey. Daspedanya. Cool. Let's see. I'm trying to figure this out now. So unlike last time, we do not have a sword throw in our arsenal. What if I do this? I... That did not work out at all the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. That man sees me, so I need to do something. I really don't understand how he sees me as well. I'm like totally in the dark here. Jesus Christ. Jeepers creepers, I really don't know what to do. We can't kill that guy there, so let's jump up like that. Murder this man for free, because anytime the game gives us a free action, I'll definitely, definitely take it. We need to get down below. So let's jump like that. Unfortunately, there, yeah, that dude exists now. And that's gonna cause us a lot of problems. But, he can't aim at us here. Are you, what? Jump and land on a platform when I want you to game. Jesus. I really should use the decoy there, but I don't understand why when you do that jump, you don't land on the platform! What the hell? <laughs> like, what the living hell? Honestly, I do not understand at all why that doesn't work in this game. I love this game, but... The thing that probably makes me the most upset about it is I feel like I grow to dislike it the more I play. I, I, I simultaneously, I dislike it more and I like it a lot more because I learn more mechanics and I get better, but I also see a lot of little quirks that should have that really should have been grinded out in playtesting, in my opinion. But also, I'm just really, really salty right now. So, uh, take everything I say with the grain of salt. I'm just a man of, I'm, I'm a man made of salt, full of rage in my, my heart, because I want to love this game, but it makes me very, very upset right now. Um, may, and really, I, I, it's just this one level. I, I should not throw all of my complaints that are really just on this one specific level in the game. I, I should not throw all of these complaints on the entire, uh, on the game in its entirety. So, let's jump down here. I wanted, oh my god. Leap like this, kill this man, there we go. Kill this man. See, that time we landed on the upper platform, which is something that should have happened every time, in my honest opinion. Really wish I could knock that guy forward instead of him just chilling there, but that's okay. Really don't know how some aspects of this game work at all. Let's jump right there. Okay, that guy down below is shooting at us now, but that's okay. We'll go for this guy again. Still don't have a, oh, that man exists now. I didn't think about that. Can we kill him? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Hooray. 
You killed a man! Yay! Good job! Jump like that! Sword throw into him! Knock him down! Uh... Teleport into him! And now we sword recall! Oh no! Now we kill him! Then... We teleport into you! Are you fucking me?! I do not understand why the game decided to put us in that explosion when it teleported us there. I guess we're getting the bad ending this time, friends. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I will quell my rage, we're getting the bad ending, and the next video will be the good ending. Everything will be happy and joyful and carefree in that regards. So, we no longer need to worry. No more stress. So... <laughs> Uh, we murder people! We're gonna murder everyone! Everyone we can! Because I hate all of them ever so much! So let's jump down here, jump over here. Hello, friend! Uh, here, do damage to me because, oh, apparently that do damage doesn't refresh my countdown, obviously. Only, uh, killing, uh, innocence does because, you know, we're on a murderous rampage that is never going to end. So let's continue on our merry, merry journey. I have indeed lost my mind. Don't worry, guys. I'm not gonna come and eat you in the night. Uh, I'm just gonna eat all these fools who I absolutely hate um, because they deserve it. So let's do that. This man has wife and kids at home, but I don't really care at all. I'm gonna kill him anyways because little Jimmy doesn't need a father. Not at all. Not at all. I, I, who knows? I might have a daughter at my house, but these people killed me without caring. Um, so yeah, let's jump up here. Swing on in there, but I'm probably gonna get Sean knocked down to my death anyway, so here comes the bad ending. I mean, death. <laughs> We're at 30 minutes, guys. This is the end. This is the end. I, I we're, bad ending. I don't care. Good ending will be in the next video. I'm just gonna, I go on a murderous onslaught. Try to kill as many people as I can without dying. Amazingly, I didn't get shot there, but that makes me very, very happy. So you go outside. I go outside. Uh, I sword throw into you. Apparently my sword freaking missed. God, the worst assassin. Okay, what, what if I jump right here? Oh my god, who's aiming at me now? Get my sword. Land right there, that means I don't get shot amazingly. Jump right there. Jump like so. I don't believe it. I'm alive still. Okay. I'm still going for the good ending, guys! So you can suck it! Uh, you go out the window. I jump. I shuriken rain strike. Stun as many people as possible. Jump like this. Take the extra turn to go down there. That guy's using his machine gun shot right now. Uh, let's knock into him. Oh my god. I really wish that guy wasn't doing his thing. I also really wish I had a teleport or something. I think this is the only place I could go! So we- Oh my god, okay, thank god I wasn't hit. Oh, swing! 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 Ah! Oh, okay, that's fine. Bad ending time! Oh, I got hit again, apparently. Hey, this man's dead, though. He got a pleasant surprise right down there. So we... Decoy! Uh, grab onto that part of the wall. Then we... Jump like this. Then we... Swing. I'm not gonna make it. Oh my god, apparently that actually worked. Are you- Come on, game! 
I can't, I don't understand when and when you can't pause things. Whatever. Okay, um... This might be the end of this episode, guys. <laughs> this has been a pointless episode of Rage, and that's probably gonna be the, the title, so... Um, you know... I hope you guys like rage videos, because that's what this was. We'll, 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 we'll be back soon with this mission. I'll get the good and bad endings. It's just gonna take a lot of work. I real I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna come out and say right off the bat, I love this game. This game's amazing. I think this game is really, really cool, really fun. I think having no check- I, I think how this level was designed is a horrible idea. I, I think that this- is without a doubt the weakest point of the game. And it really sucks that it had to come last. And of course, this is all my humble opinion. I, If you guys think that this is a really cool, interesting way to end it, I I could see that as well. And, and I think that's that's cool and exciting. Uh, you know what, next time we'll probably try going, taking this route. I'm pretty sure that that man up there will still shoot at me, but it probably will be a better route all in all, which will make me happy anything to give us a better chance of survival but anyways um fishing off what i was saying i just think that it's a very i i i think that removing the checkpoints is a really artificial way of increasing the difficulty um i think that this map is much more difficult than the previous ones before and i wish it could have just been that because i think that's enough you know I find it interesting that you have the, that they have this good and bad good and bad ending mechanic decided by whether or not you take a hit, and I think it's really really cool because it fits the theme that your character can continue to fight on while she's dying. Uh, kind of makes her like a, a T101 like Terminator effect, which I think is really cool in concept. But you could have had that with checkpoints as well, you know? Just 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 say like. If I kill this whole room without dying, then I get a checkpoint there. And, uh, but if I get hit, then, uh, it, it, while it, before g getting that checkpoint, then I'll respawn at the beginning. Or, um, for example, if I beat this room without, di without getting hit, uh, and then move on to this room and get hit, um... But, sorry, if I kill everyone in this room and don't get hit, I get a checkpoint. Come down to this room, I do get hit, then uh, if I die, I would respawn back up here after killing all those dudes. Or, if uh, I got the checkpoint here, killed everyone in this room after getting hit, so I'm on that cooldown, then I would not trigger this checkpoint. And let's say, despite killing everyone in this room, uh, since I had the death countdown going if i then went into this room and died i would respawn all the way up here even though i killed everyone in this room that's how i would have designed it if they wanted to go with all this um like i said i i, I i've i just want to pref mention all this because i've complained so much in this video i still love this game i think this game is amazing and a lot of it is just that i'm mad because i'm bad but the other half of it is that i a lot of this anger is coming from the fact that I do love this game so much and I've enjoyed it so much. It just upsets me that I really, I really think that this final level could have been a lot better. And, um, I wish it could have been better because then I think my overall enjoyment of this game would have been a bit higher if I didn't have to deal with all this shenanigans at the end. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all in the, in the next one. See you guys!